Hello! Oh look how convenient, this game just happens to be pulled out. I did not set that up beforehand. Let's take a look at this, this is King of Tokyo. Full of monsters that are 100% not copyright Godzilla Toho, please don't sue us. But, this game is fantastic. This is one of the early ones that got me into board gaming. It has a Yahtzee style dice rolling mechanism where you can attack, earn points, get cubes, or get health. But what's interesting is, if you're the monster in Tokyo, when everyone else attacks, they hit you. And only you. But you can hit all of them. And anytime you're attacked, you can choose to leave Tokyo. But you earn points every turn you stay in Tokyo. <clears throat> and the way you can win is either by eliminating all the other monsters, or by having the most points. And the energy cubes are cool because they allow to buy these cards that give you either permanent or like one-time use abilities. Super fun game. This is uh, right here, Alien Frontiers. This is my first worker placement game. And what was fascinating to me about it was, is your workers are actually dice. So you roll dice, you put them in these different places, and they let you do things like build colonies. And if you have the majority of these colonies, you have a special ability only you can use, or you can trade it for different resources, or you can buy new dice for your fleet, or you can go down here and mine for different things. There's cards you can get that give you special abilities. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most control over these different colonies will be the winner. But you can also do sneaky things with the cards. Lot of fun. Here we have Sushi Roll. This is on the lighter end of the game spectrum. I like this one quite a bit. Great game for family or if you just aren't feeling a brain burning kind of game. In this one, um, everyone rolls a set of dice and you're trying to make these combinations of food for your plate. But you only get to draft one of the dice you roll and then the sushi conveyor belt moves to the left or to the right depending on the round and the next person rolls those dice and gets to draft one. So you're trying to make the most amount of points but you also have these things here that let you re-roll or swap a die from your conveyor belt with another. So there is some strategy to it, and sometimes you will hate draft, which, if you don't know what that means, uh, like take one in front of you that you don't necessarily need to prevent your uh, family member from having it. Gizmos! This is the one that I got recently that I have not had a chance to play, but I know basically how it works. So this is an engine building game. You're pulling, uh, this is really cool, you're pulling uh, marbles from this big a tray in the middle and you're using those marbles to get these parts to build your scientific machine and what's cool is the more you have here they'll let you earn points they'll let you take extra balls they'll let you build extra things they'll let you create more so the more you do the more you get it's it's like a cascading effect so the more as the game goes on your machine will get more complex and allow you to do more things on each turn Super excited to give that one a whirl. Well, that's this stack today. Tomorrow, we'll take a look at this one. Hint, it's a really good stack. <laughs>